Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be the first cook up on that rotisserie system. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing the first cook-up on that rotisserie system. If you didn't see the unboxing of that and a little bit of a review, I'll put an icon above linking to that. We're gonna be cooking a two and a half kilo chicken. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I prepare my chicken and the best way to do it without making a mess and transporting it to your rotisserie. And a final review on my thoughts and opinions, pros and cons of this Weber rotisserie. So what we'll do is dive in, get this rotisserie set up, and then start preparing the chicken. Right, so now our cues on that preheat, it's time to dive in and start preparing this chicken. Now don't forget everything you see in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products, so make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so that's my final review, the pros, it cooks it amazing. I think any joint you put on there is gonna be amazing. The chicken tastes superb. <laughs> you won't ever buy rotisserie chicken again from Coles, Woolies, or wherever you buy it from, it just tastes awesome. Really, really moist, a lot of flavor in there. You can put whatever ingredients you like inside the chicken if you like. I didn't with this one, I just used some chicken seasoning from Foodland. Um, but it's, it's really simple to prepare as you saw in the video. 
You can put your veggies below. I didn't want to do it with chicken because I didn't want all that raw chicken meat and fat. Obviously, it's going to get hot, but I didn't want that dripping all over my vegetables. But if you're doing a beef dry, mate, you could put them in that tray and cook your vegetables below that and get all that meat flavor infused into those vegetables. So that's another pro that you can do with it. And the few cons I've got. You've got the dripping fat. I think because the lid's lifted up, you're going to get fat drip. And it does it drips out of the Weber anyway, eventually, if you don't clean your lid. But it does drip out. I've got stains all over my paving. And the best idea for that I recommend is obviously having a mat under your queue. Or I will put a link in the description below of a product that another company makes, not Weber. It's had really good feedback in the Facebook groups. And I'll put a link in the description below that I will be doing a review on that in the future. The other cons I've got is, one, you should get a bag with it, Weber. You should supply a bag with this. Yes, you're charging $150. <laughs> so I think you should definitely supply a bag with it. Cleaning wise, um, you can put it in your dishwasher. I cleaned it by hand and I found it quite cumbersome because those flaps keep folding in. So it's a bit of a pain cleaning the laundry sink. So try cleaning it in the dishwasher and let me know where you go. Um, that was my only other thing. If those sides came off, and then you can put it in the dishwasher separately or put it in the laundry sink separately. It would be a lot easier to clean if it had like a quick hinge system in there. Um, the other thing as well, Weber recommend that you preheat your grill first. I didn't preheat my grill first. I put it on while it was cold. I just found that a lot easier because if it doesn't clip in properly and you happen to touch that grill when it's burnt scalding hot, you're gonna burn your fingers. So my advice is put it on while it's cold. You're gonna get a 10, 20 minute preheat anyway. So it's gonna get up to temperature. Um, and the other con I had was as you're taking it out, you've got to hold that motor. So as you're lifting it out, it li tends to lift and it lifts that side out and it will pop out as you've seen in the video. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic system. Price wise, I'll put a link in the description below <laughs> of alternatives because I still think $150 for the rotisserie for the baby Q is quite expensive, especially when you don't get a bag or anything to store it in. I do think it's quite expensive. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any coming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. It's not a massive recipe. I'm just going to be using chicken and seeing that.